Hey everyone, welcome Confidence Through Cabaret. I'm Heather. I'm so glad you're here. Today is Work It Out. We are talking all about work life. So Confidence Through Cabaret, we talk about personal life, work life and stage life. And today it's all about our work life. And feeling good is the theme. I mean, it's always the theme, but this week, feeling good is our theme. So we talked last week about masculine and feminine energy. We've talked previously about aligning with our values and how we should do that. We've talked previously about mindset. And, and today, I just kind of wanted to come back with a check-in. You know, we're coming to the end of February now, so we're two months into this year. And if, whatever you're watching this, it doesn't matter because it's not about the month. It's just about the check-in. And so um, on Tuesday, I said to you to just check in with your own kind of personal self-care routine. And today I wanted to just check in with you about your work routine. Now, I, in my training consultancy before 2020, I didn't really have that much of a, of a work routine. Um, as in, I didn't, I, because I ran conferences all over, I was very often traveling, I was very often in a hotel, I, in a different place with different people, and, and, and even different businesses and different topics. Um, but I did um, have routines for myself about getting ready. Do you know, I always had my, uh, I always did my hair and my nails. I always did my makeup and my clothes. I always did things in a similar order. I had quiet in my, if I was in a hotel, I had quiet in my room so that I was kind of getting into the mindset of what I was about to do and what my intention was there. But, but really, um, I think, you know, sometimes we go on autopilot, don't we? Do you know, we just kind of get up and do the thing. And I, I talked about that on, on Tuesday about, you know, our, our own kind of personal routines. Um, you know, we get up and brush our teeth and have a shower and we don't think about it. But, um, you know, when's the last time you did something different? And how does that feel? For most of us, that feels great because it makes us more conscious. You know, we're not, we're not unconsciously doing things. I'm not saying you're unconscious, but you know what I mean? We're not, we're not consciously aware of what we're doing. Um, if you drive, you may have found when you've driven, you'll get somewhere and think, how did I get here? W were the lights red? Did I, did I, you know, or maybe you're going somewhere new, but you start off in a direction that you usually go. And then you end up carrying on in that direction that you usually go. And you totally miss the turning for the new place that you're going that's out of your routine. And those kind of things can really, you know, kind of make us fail to be mindful in the space, but they can also fail for, fail us when we're trying to think of new and creative ways. I'm in a very kind of creative space because I'm coming out of the, the kind of feminine healing stage that I needed to do uh, in the first part of the year. And, and I have a tendency to go towards the masculine of doing, and I do things in a certain order and in a certain way, and I don't even question it. I just get up and I do those things. And, you know, I, I had to be very careful when I was running conferences that I didn't just go on autopilot. And this is what I always say about that subject. So maybe I'm doing a, a team building and I would be talking about teams or leadership or, or presentations or whatever it is. And I, I could easily go on autopilot, but we can tell when somebody's on autopilot if we're if we're in a conference or or you know even on Zoom or whatever. We can we can tell when somebody's really not consciously aware of and with us fully in the space. And so, you know, I would always say if you are driving to work, try a different route. Drive a different route. You will have to do it consciously. Try doing it without the sat nav. Um, I used to drive a lot more consciously when I didn't have the sat nav because I had to follow a map or remember where I was going. And I, you know, most of the time it was, I had never been there before, you know, so, so I would always feel a little bit of a flutter and I'd always feel a little bit, you know, kind of uh, aware of what my surroundings were and what my landmarks were, especially if I had to get back out again at the end of the day. Um, so, so I would say mix up your routine, try something new. Try if you always go, let's say maybe you're on Zoom and I'm fully just making this up now. I have no idea what I'm about to say, but you know, try, try doing, it, doing it in a different way. Try sitting in a different place. Try adjusting your chair differently. Try angling your monitor differently. You know, try, try, see what happens, you know, change your lighting, move things around a little bit and see what that's like. Um, 
And when you do that, what it will do, oh, I don't like that, but what it will do is it will make you realize, first of all, new and fresh ideas. And second of all, maybe why you do some of the things you do without taking it for granted. You know, try and change just even your surroundings by temperature. You know, what's it, what's it feel like to work when you're cozy and warm or when you're, when you're less wrapped up and it's a little bit colder. I'm, I'm in the UK right now, so it's rainy season in February. So, um, so it's a little bit colder, but, but try and change it and then see what it does. Now, I, for a long time ago, I used to go out with the smokers when there were smokers going outside and, and, and the, um, in the conferences, you know, we'd take a break and everybody would go downstairs and I'd think, oh, I'm in the room alone. I want to go out with them. And so I would go out. And then over the years, less and less people went out and they started staying in. And I didn't even take a break during the breaks. You know, I'd be talking to people about what their questions were or having their own, you know, th their own kind of personal time with me. Um, and I found that I really missed not going outside. I found that I didn't get the, the breathing space with the fresh air, with the vitamins from the sunshine, even if it's cloudy. I found that I didn't get a break from talking about what I was talking about all day or sometimes for several days in a row. I found that I just wasn't taking that time. And I would say, I'm not saying that you should take up smoking. I'm really not. But what I am saying is if you don't normally get out in the day, take your breaks, you know, what would be a, a smoke break, take it as a sunshine break, take it as an outside break, go for a five minute walk, just walk around. If you're working from home, walk around the block once, or if you're not working from home, then walk around the business park or wherever you are, you know, go to a different space. Physiologically, when we change our environment, it changes our mindset. It takes us out of the state that we're in and it changes the temperature and the breathing rates and, and a lot of things that we need to feel fresh. Now, have you ever uh, been doing something like a crossword puzzle or Sudoku or, or a word find or something and you just couldn't figure out the thing or maybe even a level on your, where's my phone? Even a level if you're a gamer, you know, on your phone, you know, and you just couldn't get it. And then you go and you take a break and when you come back, there it is, there it is. It's so much easier, it's so much more straightforward, yeah. I found that out last month because I took a break from my exercise uh, and I am certainly a lot weaker and heavier and I, I do aerial work. So, um, so my aerial dance is definitely the skill level is declined, but I'm actually a lot more conscious of things that I just took for granted before. And what that's done is that's allowed me to really tune into, in my case, because it's because it's um, aerial, it's about body positioning a lot of times, but it's caused me to be able to go back to those real basic things of, you know, angles and where am I? And it's just, just, just a thinking of things that I haven't thought about for probably years. So try, mix up your routine, do things in a different order. Maybe try, if you're constantly checking in with emails, maybe try just checking in with emails at the beginning of when you start work, maybe midway through when you start work or when you're working, and then maybe an hour before the end. Because if people really need you, they will find you if you're not on your emails. I, I got so that I was really great at checking in once a day on my emails. And people knew that if they needed something, they could contact me. Um, if I'm running a conference, they really can't. So I didn't want to give them the impression that they could just contact me anytime and I would reply like that within an hour or whatever, a few minutes. So I managed expectations that way. Now I've gotten terrible about going and checking in sporadically through the day now. And I need to go back to that kind of routine. I need to question, why do I keep going and stopping what I'm doing, checking emails and answering those emails and rushing off doing the things that were in those emails? when they might not have even been the priority. So I need to question it and shake that up and work with that. What do you need to work with? Comment below, like, and subscribe. Join our Facebook community. We have these kind of comments a lot and we love to have those conversations about what informs and what opens up your world and what opens up your space and creativity. Join us on any of the social medias. We're Confidence Through Cabaret everywhere. ConfidenceThroughCabaret.com is our website that has all of our podcasts, our blog, 
podcast, blog, uh, video logs, um, uh, guest appearances everywhere else, um, uh, featured articles, you name it. That's where all of our stuff is. It all lives together to make it easy. We're on Twitter at the six letters of Y B Y W Y S. And I am on Clubhouse at Heather Y B Y W Y S. I'm on there quite regularly. I haven't started a club yet. I will keep you posted on that. But if you look up at Heather YBYWYS, you can join me in any of the rooms or invite me to join your room, in fact, even. I would love that new routine. Thank you so much for joining us. I will see you tomorrow for Focus on You. Bye, everyone. Oh, wait, I didn't say the thing. Remember, it's your body and it's your world. And it is your stage. That's what our six letters are talking about. It is your stage. Take up space. Try something new. Mm -hmm.